Hi, I'm going to show you how to run Jupyter on Bianca uh, by following the instructions at Upmax documentation. Bianca is an Upmax HPC cluster. And I'm going to go through this documentation without any preparation. So let's take a look at the procedure. We have one, two, three, four, five, six steps. Well, let's go through them. First, I need to be within SUNET. So I can do that. For that, I'm not in the university network, I work from home. Um, that means I need to use a VPN, I use the Upmax, uh, the, the Uppsala University VPN. And for that I need the two-factor authentication, and I need to log in, so I'm gonna do that. Uh -huh. um, if you are inside of the university networks, then it will be easy, then you can skip this step. Let's say you work at university, for example. If you work within any university within Sweden, you are in SUNET. Alright, uh, I'm not, so I need to uh, authenticate. So this is my two factor authentication number 687707. And you'll see now at the top right there will be a Cisco logo seeing me that I'm now within the university network. So that's great, so I've done that. Um, if you're not from Uppsala, you maybe need another VPN, but I'm within CNET. Of course, it's also described here. Next step, start the Bianca remote desktop environment. Uh, and that's simply a website. Um, yeah, I can type it here, or it's just bianca.upmax.uu.se. And um, you have to type your username, let's just log in. I'll type in a project, I'll use this one, a test project. Here I'm going to type my, my Upmax password. There. And my two-factor authentication number for Upmax. That's a different one than I just used. For my VPN I needed to use the Uppsala University two-factor authentication. Here I need Upmax. Um, so my phone it says Richel at Upmax 388444 to describe my two-factor authentication number. Great, I need to type in my password again. No two-factor authentication here. And now I'm on the remote desktop of Bianca. Uh, great. Um, while this is low, let's take a look at the documentation. Start the uh, Bianca Remote Desktop Environment. We did that. We need to start an interactive session. Oh, well, I can just use this. So we're going to start an interactive session. I'm going to use uh, an interactive session under this project. That's the one I've just logged in, but you can use other projects too. This is for eight hours. I'm going to change this to, to one hour. That's, uh, that's enough. Um, yeah, let's go to the Remote Desktop Environment of Bianca. There it is. I have the terminal here. Uh, you can't directly paste to it. You have to do this via the clipboard here. So here I've had have this command. I'm going to change it already to one hour. Um, so now it's in the clipboard, and now I can do a paste here. There. And here I am getting an interactive job. That's exactly what I need. While this is looking, this can take a bit of time, so I'm just going to wait for it. In our interactive job, then we need to load a Python module. Sure. Um, let's take a look if it's already gone. Well, I can already put, put what this on the clipboard, what I need. Python module there. And what do we need to do more then? We need to start Jupyter Notebook like this, or Jupyter Lab like that. And then start Firefox to, to, to start it. Okay. Can do that. This is already in the clipboard. It's still waiting for a job. That's a bit dull. Let's see if we can already find the web browser. Oh, this is the web browser. It's not Firefox at all. Oh, I can I can click the web browser. I can pick Firefox. Sure. So this is a different application. So you see that I have one window that will be used to drive the Jupyter Notebook book that does the, the computations and all. But I also have Firefox um, that will display the notebook, that will display the Jupyter Notebook. 
Um, in this case, the Firefox is looking for websites to display, but Bianca does not have internet, so this will never work. Uh, I can click over it, it. You can't get out of Bianca. Um, there are some exceptions, like for example, using a remote desktop environment, but Bianca cannot search anything. Uh, cannot browse the web. That's the whole idea uh, to keep her data secure. So this is already good. We have an interactive job getting started. After that, we load the Python modules, and after that, we start Jupyter. And we still need to wait for that. Let's take a look. Yeah, well, we'll just um, wait a bit. So um, I'll be waiting, and I'll start talking when uh, when it's done. All right. See you soon. There we are again. So the interactive session has started. You can see this at um, it says B9 Bianca node Bianca compute node nine, and we can continue. What to do? All right. So we needed to load this module Python, and I already po pasted this in the clipboard during the time I had nothing to do. Well, because I copied B9, I'll have to do it again. Sure. There it is, and now I can paste it here too. Paste. There. Now we've loaded the Python module. And while that thing is loading, now I'm going to start this thing. Copy. Put it in the clipboard. There, and now paste it here. There. So this will now start a process that needs to be run in the web browser. Um, so there will be some output. There will be some IP address. And this IP address will be only useful for our local computer. There's no internet on Bianca. And then we copy paste that URL. Uh, and use it in Firefox on Bianca. Alright, so this thing is running. There she goes. Do we have an IP address already? No, not yet. Uh, this is still no IP address. There we go. It even says it to exit the server, open this file in a browser. So I'm going to copy paste this. Ah! Or copy and paste one of these URLs. So I'm going to use this URL because it is the first one. And let's see if it works. I'm going to copy it. Oh, I need to. Like this. Right mouse button. Copy. I'm going to paste it here. Paste. And let's see if it works. Maybe I need to use the other URL. I don't know. But just trying out. The documentation. We already see the Jupyter logo here. And I assume ah it's now rendering. So you see this pop up in my screen sometimes. It means that I'm uh, not connected to uh Sunet for a sec. Uh, but it always comes back again. Uh yep, it seems it frozen modules and there uh, we have Jupyter notebook. So uh, yeah, I can now create my Python files and so on. So this concludes the video on how to run Jupyter on Bianca um, on uh, yeah on uh, Bianca the Max HPC cluster. With that, I conclude this video and I wish you a very good day. Bye.